coronavirus pandemic has created lots of turbulences in businesses across the globe. Presently in Nigeria, both small and medium enterprises are facing difficulties because the country already has our own challenges and issues from the beginning. Stay with me guys. Today I am going to illustrate the business challenges that have come up in the face of COVID-19 and how to cope with them. Hello people, welcome to your bi-weekly online business show, Business in a Minute. I'm your host, Messi. Industry experts across Nigeria are bothered about how small and medium enterprises can cope in the post-COVID-19 era because of their strategic nature. You know, small and medium enterprises in Nigeria contribute about 48% of GDP and employ up to at least 70% of the active workforce. So quickly, let's talk about what has changed as a result of the COVID-19 impact. The first is, manufacturers across the globe have suffered lots of production capacities and this has resulted to them dealing with high cost of raw materials because most raw materials needed are usually imported. The second point is that the dollar exchange rate has gone high as low oil prices have, will I say, pushed down government revenue. Also, as a result of this, production cost has risen across board. Also, businesses are battling to keep retail prices from going up to avoid scaring customers away. That's also another thing that's happened. The next is that small and medium enterprise access to credit has further worsened since they constitute higher risk exposure with their reduced credit worthiness. Also, team productivity and corporate efficiency have reduced because some companies have been compelled to retrain even highly skilled professionals, while others keep some of them working from home with restricted monitoring. The final point to note here is that COVID-19 safety protocol have kept businesses in the entertainment and tourist industry under lockdown while hospitalities and aviations are flying their flags on half max. Now let's look at how businesses can cope with these challenges caused by the COVID-19. Sit back, don't go anywhere, relax. Also, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and notification bell. The first is cost optimization. You know, this time calls for efficient cost management practices because for businesses to retain their market share, they must find a way to level out the high production cost that is caused by high exchange rates. First and foremost thing to do is to develop a cost optimization strategy and ensure it is understood by all. You know, in the strategy, you will define and explain your cost reduction goals to get everyone in your organization to buy into the strategy. It's very important you do that. So quickly, let's look at the areas that requires cost control and reduction. You will need to look at design of products and processes to lay foundation of low production and operational costs. The next is energy consumption. Now, energy consumption here has to do with it could be electricity or anything basically that consumes energy, you know. So look out for those ones that need replacement or modifications as this would help to reduce energy costs. The next is operation and logistics. You need to understand the areas to eliminate or outsource. Also, in the area of marketing, that is in point of sales and distribution, transportation, channel of distribution, among others, you know, you need, also need to know how to examine all this and look for ways to reduce costs. I want to believe that I have done justice to cost optimization, which takes us to the next point, which is marketing and sales. You know, new marketing strategies need to be adopted to drive sales to high volume. As we all know that the higher the volume, the less the unit cost and the higher the turnover. Also, organizations can consider the following, aggressive online marketing, creation of online stores yeah and the planning of distribution channels of wider reach the third and final point for today is 
technology or raw material substitution. You know, you can replace or modify production system for cheaper production. Also, you can change raw materials, especially where the alternatives are produced locally. So that brings us to the end of today's episode of Business in Minutes. We'll continue from where we stop in our next video. So, like I always say, click on the link I'll be dropping below here on Vanco Online Space. Register and learn more mind-blowing financial freedom secrets from our expert. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch all our videos, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Till so we see next week, stay connected to Banco Online Space and keep winning. Bye for now.